expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Berger. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... you're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me! I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost! You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. 
Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Let you So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred, and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Please, take the bow. It's yours. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. It's... not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but... he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. Farewell, it's so friend. bright out It's good to speak to you again. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Farewell, friend. May the Radiance of Oriel fill your heart with It joy. sounds like... that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Sure... Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. Let's just get this over with. I trust... You're faring well. If 
there's anything. Absolutely. I can. Absolutely. I can. Absolutely. I can. Absolutely. Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case.
Where'd you come from? Where'd you come? Everything I need right here. So, you've returned. Is your pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this... pathetic half-breed vampire. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Oh, come now. Spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. Ah, 
I see you've been speaking to Valerica, and she's convinced you that Eternal Night will plunge us into war with daytime dwellers. If only it were so. With the world in shadow, we would never tire, never weaken, more than a match for their pitiful armies. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. Are you <laughs> It's done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. 
Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned, that's what I wanted to hear. Anything good? imagined I'd see the day. My congratulations on defeating Harkon. Clearly, you are the superior vampire. You are the new master. We bow to your power. A power which, I note, includes Oriel's bow. The castle, of course, is your... My lady, you have my deepest... I am above the petty that. squabbles here. It had to be I, done. I, I, I'm not happy I have about never this. understood the Nord fascination with You're weapons. still my father. Never should have come here. This should be good. <laughs> Archmage or not, my rules about books still... Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Thalmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Here you go. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. 